the short course worlds. Rowdy trying to add to her gold medal tally. As you look at the short course world record holder, you'll see Dahlia has that American title. What's her chances in this one, Rowdy? Well, that's a veteran group in the middle. Ro Ronomi Kromovic yo, yo has the fastest time in the this, in the world this year, 24-5. Now, she did that a month ago. She has not been quite as sharp here, but she's already been 24-8. There's no doubt that Kelsey can win a medal here. It may be tough to beat Boma Majoyo. And then you've got Lang Ch Yu Chun in lane number seven, a young 13-year-old, but three veterans in the middle. Amazing to qualify for World Championship final here at home at age 13. Good start there by Barrett in lane number five with the yellow cap. She's right there in five, right above her is Chromo Majoyo, and above her is Dahlia. Dahlia's not go oh, real long on that turn there for Dahlia. That might have cost her. Chromo Majoyo surging ahead in lane number four, taking it to this field. The Dutch star looking like she'll double up short of world record time, but it is a championship record and the fastest time in the world this year at 24.47 seconds. Dahlia sneaking in there behind Barrett to get bronze for the United States. Look at that, 28 years of age, Jason. She goes her best time, breaks her own national record. She's nine one hundredths of a second off the world record. And then you've got Holly Barrett at 30, grabbing the silver. And if it wasn't for the walls, I think, Kelsey Dahlia would have gotten silver. You can see her there, three from the right, and she just quite couldn't get into the wall on that long turn, that, that long finish, rather. You can see how her head's down right above Chromo Vigiorgio. Didn't quite have enough to get into and out of those walls, but still grabbed the bronze at a pretty good time.